Monday Showdown coming to you today. Montana with the 10th ranked Montana Grizzlies play host to the Portland State Vikings. And what a venue, they call it the Mecca. What a, what a heck of a coach. This Portland State group, they could set the standard of this game right here on this return. All right, Quincy Craig decides to take it out of the end zone and gets it just past the 15 yard line with a 16 where the Grizzlies stop him for a minimal gain. T.J. Roush from Missouri, from Fairview, Montana. All right, here is third and five. And Montana looks like they jumped off sides. The flags fly. Could be a free play. Pass out here to Brandon Alvarez. We talked to him being in the leading receiver, and he has it at the 41-yard line. And pass. In motion comes to the tight end. They gave him the backfield to Quincy Craig. He's had a great breakout year last year and this year for Portland State. He suffered a knee injury last year after field position out for the Vikings. Knocking on the door at the 30-yard line for Montana. Sash Ray will give it in the backfield. Thompson evades a tackle and gets across the 25 down to the 23-yard line before Ryan. Sash Ray from Fresno, California. Gets the snap. Looking across the middle. Throws it over the intended receiver. That was uh, just airmailed quite a bit. Right there was going to keep that post just a little bit higher. Matthias Uribe, 9 of 10 in the field goal department. This will be a 40-yarder, and he splits the upright. So much like last year. They want to do is go three and out here when it's I Ayat's first start in many months. Ayat gets the snap, passing, and completes. Oh, drop in and out of the hands of Sawyer Racanelli. Yeah. This Grizzly defense early in the ball game. Sash Ray looks like he's just picking up where he left off. Here's the get to Thompson in the background. Changes his direction and goes out of bounds at the 44-yard line inside Grizzly territory. Couple extra hand signals there. Take in the backfield. And the pass out to Alvarez, complete. Good for a first down, down to the 37-yard line. Second and five as the clock ticks down to near the five and a half minute mark of the first quarter. Sasha Ray fakes the handoff, throws across the middle, and it's complete. Another RPO, Jay. Sasha Ray is just ready for touchdowns. Portland State, fourth in the big sky with their red zone efficiency. Here's Sasha Ray on the run now, getting a couple blocks. Breaks the tackle down into the 10 yard line. A good for another first down for the Viking. Craig in the backfield. Alvarez is split out, now goes in motion. Sasha Ray with the give to Craig in the backfield. The Grizzlies have him. Stop for maybe one or two, but a penalty flag flies up. Mike. With an automatic first down. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number 42. Pin being forced half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Head referee. Here's a little razzle-dazzle in the backfield. It's Quincy Clark. And it's intercepted by the Montana Grizzlies. Clark put it up for grabs. Montana was right there. The intended receiver was Dante Sachere. Jace Klusiewicz with the interception. Jace Klusiewicz comes up with another interception. You know, he's been battling some injuries all year long. And I believe that's the second of the year for him. Third interception for Klusiewicz. It's the uh, third one. Man alive, I'm not giving him enough. Leads the team, rather. Yeah, Jace is 5'10", about 170. Go up play, and let's see if Montana can capitalize Here's on the that. Here's the who breaks into the open across the 30, still on his feet. Down he goes at the 34-yard line. That's the first first down of the game for Montana on a 14-yard pickup. Travis West at the cornerback spot in coverage. Big play here, third and six. Montana trying to keep the drive alive. Here's a pass complete out to Junior Bergen across the 45, out to the 47. Down to a minute left here in the fast-moving first quarter. Ayat fakes in the backfield, throws, completes to Aaron Font. He's still on his feet and out to the 35-yard line. That'll be another Montana first down. Great route. That's sellout streak started back in 2022 versus these Portland State Vikings. Here's a give in the backfield. Osmo breaks the tackle, still on his feet. Loose inside the 20, down to the 16-yard line. Nick Osmo. Line and into the end zone. All right, so Ayat drops back, getting some pressure now. Throwing in Burden's direction. Did he catch it? Yeah. Intercepted. Yeah. Intercepted at the six-yard line. Yeah, that was full blitz by the Portland State. <laughs> Throw the ball where nobody but his guy could could catch it now it goes off these guys 
and then it goes wow. uh, it goes to number two uh, Hurst the safety getting over there great hustle hustle wins games that safety was hustling over there and gets a tip ball for exactly what head coach Bruce Barnum had in mind for Portland State coming in All right here Sashway in the backfield Loves went up and not even close to Quincy Craig Craig was out near the 30-yard line, the ball falls short. Percent of his passes so far this year. Running is real more his forte. The punt backs up Drew Deck, back to the 40. Has some running room, and a wall of blockers. Penalty flags fly in the backfield as Deck goes out of bounds. This looks like it's going to go against Montana. Maybe a block in the back. Uh, it's all Ayat with all receivers out and a empty backfield. Here's the pass across the middle, in and out of the hands of Aaron Fonts, who had it again and couldn't come down with it. Great throw by Ayat with an unblocked rusher coming right into his face. You can see the clock ticking down to the nine-minute mark here in the first half. Low-scoring game so far, 3-0. The entire line changes now for Portland State, and penalty flags. Defense, because the offense direct. Five-yard penalty results, first down. So here's what happened there, Jay. It was a uh, three or four different fellows who sort of personnel group shift in motion for the Vikings as they did last time. Here's Boom! The in the back there. No, Sacheray fakes it. Does he get enough for the first down? He does not. Stop before the 45-yard line on the fake to the handoff. Trevin Gradney teaming up with Ryan Terrell to make that stop on Sacheray. Akir had a hell of a play right there. He sniffed that baby out and got into the Grizz backfield to cause that fumble. All right, here is the pass in the backfield to Eli Gilman. He has running room out across the 20. Can he break a tackle? Out near the 30-yard line and up for the first down. Great call, great execution. Great. The sixth on the career. Ayat dropping back, facing a third and ten. Looking across, finds Aaron Fonts. He's loose, but nowhere to run as he had to dive for the ball. And the, pen, or the tackle made by 225 left till halftime. Second and three, Satchery in the backfield is just going to have to throw it away to avoid the sack. Did he get it up past the line of scrimmage? No, Found penalty flags fly. Riley Wilson playing inside 10 seconds. Satchery taking as much time as he wants. Here's the fake to Quincy Cluck, and now Satchery will. That could be a penalty flag against Ryder Meyer. That could be a. That could be you see what they what they have but if it happens in the second half of a game you're not only out for that half you're out for the next game's first half uh so uh, any anything that happens in the second half as far as targeting uh they will not be able to play in the next ball game's first half after further review the ruling of targeting is confirmed by rule number 13 is disqualified that's a 15-yard penalty added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. Got a half full Washington Grizzly Stadium right now, but they're making some noise. Sash Ray dropping back, looking across the middle, and he finds Quincy Craig out of the backfield. Good for a first down down to the 33-yard line. Ryan Terrell makes the stop. And Quincy Craig is a corner outside the numbers. 12-yard pickup. Sash Ray, quick pass out of the backfield. Oh, and the ball came loose. It's free. Looks like Montana might have pounced on it. Jackson Lee might have the football at the bottom of the pile. Let's see. Originally, the pass was complete to Eric Denham, but as Denham made a move, you could see the ball pop his second of the year. Full blitz. Ball's out. Ball's complete. Ball secure, and he's trying to make a move. He could get it. Ayat continuing it, beat the quarterback as he rolls to his right, almost out of bounds. Pass intended for Aaron Fonts, and there's the penalty flag flies. It looked like the defender got there just a little bit early. I think that the plan was to rotate him, but because of injury, now Fife is in, and he's proved that he can play at a high level. Here he is, and he gets sacked in his first play from scrimmage. Back to close to the 39-yard line. 57-101 to 101 for Montana. And here is going to be the final play of the half, barring a penalty. They're just going to victory it. Oh, they did the little. Uh, now, usually you do this play. He's loose on the sidelines. Yeah. Usually you do this play when there's like 15 or so seconds. Right. Like first half, let's not be surprised if some points are going to be put up in this second. The tail of two halves. Here's the kickoff of the second half. Running it out is Aaron Fonts. 
Infants has some running room out near the 30, and down he goes around the 27-yard line. Let's go down to Kyle Hansen with an up. Montana with the ball first here in the second half. Fife looking back. Now he's going to run to the right, and he has all kinds of running room across the 30. 35 out of bounds at the 38 yard line right near the first down marker to turning that corner picks up another first down Here's Fice throw to so you reckon Alley has the ball and he's down to the 35 yard line another first down from uh, had because the ball was out of reach. Here's the pass It's a touchdown or you might be right at the goal line. That's Aaron Fox Right at the one, Fife found him on a little slant pattern. Michael Hurst made the tackle right at the one. Fonts wanted to get in. You could see he was frustrated. Down the field, RPO, Fife pulls it because Fonts is one-on-one. -on -one. Just a little slant route. Here is Fife pushing it in from behind. No call yet. Quarterback sneak looked to me like he was in from here. They haven't signaled it quite yet. Touchdown. In unison, we said that. Yeah, I like it. You and I were huh, working. We're a good team, Jay. Good team. I tell you, activity after the quarterback sneak here by Logan Fife. They clearly got in. Fifth rushing touchdown for Logan Fife. In, on the old uh, tush push. I don't think I want to know what's going on <laughs> under the pile. I've been there, done that one. Outcome of the game. So iron sharpens iron. They'll be fine. All right, a short kick. This is Quincy Craig with the ball, and he goes across the 40 out to the 43-yard line. So a short kick by Montana puts Portland, but let's see right now, it's Dante Sachery. Can Portland State answer this Grizzly touchdown drive? And in fact, they can. DeLon Thompson crosses the midfield here. Let's see if Dante Sachery can figure this out. He gives it up the middle. This is Thompson again. Breaks loose at the 40 and down inside the 30-yard line he goes. Trevin Gradney for the Vikings at the 30-yard line for Montana. Thompson the lone back behind Sacheray. And he hands it to him. And he's got all kinds of running room loose on the sidelines inside the 20. Knocked out of bounds. Team. And here is the give to Quincy Ooh. Clark. And he's going to go into the end zone for the touchdown. The Vikings retake the lead. Boy, was that an impressive drive. Wow. All, all on the ground, I believe. I mean, Vikings come out, most all of it done in the running game, right down the field after a 15-yard penalty on Logan Fife after the touchdown score. That's the third rushing touchdown of the year for Quincy Clark. Here is the extra point up, and the extra point is good. Kaylee Eiyat was warming up on the sidelines, but it's Logan Fife at quarterback. He fakes the handoff to Osmo. Now looking, looking across the middle, in and out, and now intercepted. In and out of the hands of Aaron Fonts. It is an interception, and Portland State, Travis West. Look at exactly what happens here. A little play pass, seven, eight-man protection. Hitch, hitch, hitch. Ah, uh, Fonts has to catch that ball. Looks like it was a, a crystal clear on the interception. That ball should be caught rather than intercepted. Kicked it with his foot, actually. Yep, looks like it's, it's clear. They're looking at it at the replay booth. Is incomplete, therefore to be second down. He may have juggled it right as he. They might be turnovers, but neither one went to Portland State. Here's the pass. Roy Sawyer Racanelli is loose at the 50. Can he get a block? Fonts needs to get a block. Racanelli is loose. Touchdown, Montana! What a run by Sawyer! What momentum wow. swings? Two fumbles. One fumble could could have been one interception. Has some speed. The lefty has some speed. Look at that. Boom, boom, ball's out. Ball's right on that front shoulder. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. What? You mentioned the momentum shift, Marty. Those two wood pads. We have another penalty flag fly against Montana on that extra point. So we're going to break. Right now, it's Montana up 14 10. Chance to win this ball game. Second and 10. Sachray fakes the handoff, throws over the middle, and wide open. No one's going to catch. Well, maybe they are going to catch him as the big tight end. Rumbling, bumbling down inside the five. That pass complete. Tanner Beeman, TG. Wide open. You can see it on the replay here. You can see. Yep, the, there he went. Down. Yep, he just, he just uh, uh, had a little slip on the, on the Washington Grizz turf. Okay. Down to the 840 mark. 
Delon Thompson gets the hand off of the backfield and he's stuck. Maybe a one yard gain down to the five. Thompson took a two. Thompson, the running back behind Sasha Ray. Sasha Ray's gonna keep it. And you're gonna run and make a move. It's inside the five, but the Grizzlies were there. What a tackle by Jace Clouse. In motion goes Alvarez to give. Oh, Sasha Ray keeps it, fakes it, and the Grizzlies defense is there again. Klusiewicz. Klusiewicz again. Klusiewicz. Alvarez in motion. Sasha Ray gives it to, Ooh, to Lon Thompson, and he just waltzes into the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. That was going to be a triple option. Dive, or Sasha Ray comes out, then he'll read him on online screen uh, for the pitch to the motion man. Uh, excellent call by A.C. Patterson. Uh, the offensive coordinator, you could see there that ball handling wasn't real tight because of the decision making. And just like that, Portland State half. You rebate to add the extra point. And it's up and good. 17-14. Both teams have just been sprinting up and down this field. Gilman. Now it's passed to Fonz from five. Faked it to Gilman, and he has the catch across the 45 to the 47-yard line. Missed it. Kaylee Eiyat played most of the first half and injured his ankle on one of the last plays of the half. Here's Eli Gilman looking for some running room up the middle and looks like he had it. He has enough for the first down out around at the 45. Schaefer and Barker. And now Barker goes in motion. The give is to Eli Gilman who's loose at the 40. Breaks into the open field down to the 30 yard line for another first down for Montana. Up against this Grizzly offense. Third and two important here. Fight. He's going to throw it out of the backfield to Osmo. He's inside the 15. The ball loose, but out of bounds. That'll be enough for the first down, and he'll be marked out at the 11. Goal from the 11. Fife looking, throwing, and finding. Touchdown, Montana. Wide open. That's Barker. Eric Barker. They, they, here's what they did. They were in unbox the quick screen and ran a post by the outside guy and slipped Barker. Here's look, a look at, at him. him. There he is. He just slipped him uh, near the sideline out there. Beautiful uh, design, beautifully executed by the Grizzlies offense. All right. Kick is up, and the kick is good by Ty Morrison. And, all right. Craig is in the backfield along with a full house, and he will get the handoff. It breaks into the tack into the open as he crosses the 35, and up for the first down on that important third down carry in this ball game. All right, so first play of the fourth quarter, ball's on the ground, Sash Ray gonna be hit, and hit for a loss, the ball's up, and loose again, it's still loose! Who has it, it's fumbled and still loose. Looks like Montana's got the ball. Sash Ray had trouble with the snap. Andres, yeah, the man in the white hat is going to get, yeah, the Grizz come out with it, let's see what the referees end up Discussing. There was there was motion, and with a snap ball hit the motion man. Sasseray picks it up and, and is trying it's to break a tackle. Hot potato! Look at that thing. Tyson Rostad had a shot at it. Logan fight now first and 15. He fakes the handoff. He's going deep. Has a man. That's Aaron Fonts. Touchdown Montana. Yeah. Stick the dagger in. That's what Brent Peace was thinking. Turnover. Let's go for it. Let's get up by two scores and then see what Portland has in them offensively. To be enforced on the kickoff. Well, the fans don't like it, but that's the rule. Here's the pass play, wide open as Fonts. Yeah, you see. Burns his man. Yeah, Fonts. Is who he beat on that play, and the kick is up, and there goes the cannon. This player, like you said, he's played all year, playing full time now. All right, Sasha Ray facing third and 11 across the middle. Oh, and he completes the pass at the 50. A couple of Montana players had a shot at it, but it floated. Jackson Lee makes the stop, but it's complete. 18 yards. Good look at DeLon. He checks out the play. Sasha Ray calls the signals. Thompson will get it again and has more running room. Tackle made by Ronald Jackson. Nice out would win it. Second and four. Here's Craig again on the run play, and he will have it up for the first down for T.J. Roush. Brings him down on the tackle. Oh, wow, uh, the Grizz cat game. All right, second and nine. Sasha is going to keep it. Rolls to his right. Has running room. Almost brought down to the 10. Now he dives over the 10-yard line, but going to be short of that first down as Ryan Terrell finally brought him down. Sasha 
Puts Alvarez in motion, fakes the pitch, throws over the middle. It's intercepted by Montana. And now coming the other way is Jace Klusiewicz again. Still on his feet. Breaks a tackle and down he goes at the 40. What a play. Jace Klusiewicz's second interception of the ball game. Six minutes, 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter to cut this ball game to three or four points. What a great look at it there on your replay as Klusiewicz saw that coming and just said, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Klusiewicz stays inbounds yeah. on the sidelines. Klusiewicz saw it coming. Sachere did not. Well, this is unexpected. What we've been told is that there's a power outage at Washington Grizzly Stadium in Missoula, middle of the fourth quarter. Here's what I used to do in the National Football League is I would run one running play. And if my opponent did not use the timeout, I would go into victory on second and third. So guys, this is a live picture for those of you at home. The power has gone out across campus at the University of Montana. And uh, Jay Cohn and Marty Mornenweger on the call. This is a first and 10 for the Montana Grizzlies coming out of the two-minute timeout. Nick Osmo getting the handoff inside the 15. Scott, hearing you get the update. So Montana keeping the ball on the ground now, and it's inside two minutes of this game. 